Many of you um, knew or felt or inspired to believe or believed, and actually over a billion Christians believe this, before um, Y2K, before Jubilee, before the seventh day, before the millennium, before we got past 6,000 years, that Jesus Christ would come. And at that point in time, most of you that didn't know about Ted were still looking up into the sky and were still believing he's going to come from the sky in the clouds, surrounded physically by angels or hosts with wings. Okay. Well, first of all, they uh, don't have wings. That's a metaphor for their spiritual ability. Therefore, they don't have the ability to fly in uh, the sky. They don't have the ability to stay up in the sky. They don't have the ability to float in a cloud. He doesn't have the ability to float in a cloud. He's not coming through space physically in a cloud with hosts. He's not showing up in the sky physically in a cloud with hosts. Why were you made to believe that then, some ask? Why this huge, uh, it sounds like a deception. We call this misinformation from God and the host. It's not a lie. It's legal misinformation that's not considered a lie or a deception. And we did it for good reasons. And the reason was a huge security cover-up that on this coming, this that was a nativity again, he would not have huge security problems and be murdered or assassinated or abducted um, while growing up. Therefore, for 37 years before the 40 days and 40 nights started, Ted did not know who he was. Now, in retrospect, he looks back, yes, he was given enough uh, hints. Uh, there were definitely hints given to him <laughs> in retrospect, but he didn't know it um, growing up. He didn't understand it for 37 years. And after the 40 days and 40 nights started, he understood, um, oh, oh, it's me. How can that be? And he really um, went through a, a process of figuring that out and being told that, and being told that loud spiritually with visions, dreams, and loud spiritually, how that worked. Um, Ted uh, is not from a virgin, okay? And she almost claimed to be a virgin um, at first, and then she was forced to uh, admit, finally, there was a man she was involved with, but she started to say, I'm a virgin. That story actually almost started to happen, and we almost took that ball and ran with it. Hey, she's going to say she's a virgin. Let's take it and run with it. So that almost happened. She was uh, enormously upset, enormously suicidal because Satan and demons were going after her because they knew that she was probably carrying the chosen one. And he was chosen after he was born, actually, because we want to make sure he was a healthy baby boy. Okay, that's another uh, long story.